Hey guys, it's Sam with The Blind Spot. I had an idea for a new series on my channel. I was inspired by my buddy Derek, who recently put out a video talking about his favorite book, or a book he was recommending to his viewers. And I got to thinking that that was a great idea, and I've got a lot of books that I would like to recommend to people. So I want to start a new audio book club series. <laughs> it's just going to be like a regular book club. Once a month, we're going to get together and we're going to talk about a book or recommend a book, but they're all going to be audio books. And I'm going to invite you guys to leave comments down below talking about the book that I recommend or suggesting another book for everyone to read. And like I said, we'll do it once a month. I think it'll be a lot of fun. But to start it off for the very first episode, we've got a big one for you. The very first book I'm going to recommend is by far my all-time favorite book. I love this book, and it is Ready Player One. So this book came out a few years ago. Uh, it's written by a gentleman, Ernest Cline, and this is a sci-fi, dystopian, utopian era sci-fi novel. So in this novel, Earth has really gone downhill. Uh, nobody has taken care of Earth. That's because everybody is plugged into this virtual reality game called the Oasis. And everybody gets into it. I mean, like everybody. Kids, they go to school in the Oasis. People go to work in the Oasis. Basically, they wake up in the morning, they put on the, the gear, and they plug in for all day long. And then people go out on dates in the Oasis. Everything is done, banking, financial stuff, is everything is done in the Oasis. So because of that, the real world has kind of been neglected. Now, the guy who created the Oasis, he dies. It's very unfortunate. But shortly after his death, everybody finds out that he had left some Easter eggs within his game. Some clues to this giant contest. And whoever finds all of his Easter eggs and solves the, the puzzle, completes the quest, will become master of the Oasis, will be able to control everything in the Oasis. Which, as I said, the world is the Oasis. So if you control the Oasis, you pretty much control Earth and will be the most richest, most powerful person on the planet. So the story follows this high school kid named Wade and some of his friends as they try to complete this quest and try and solve this puzzle. A lot of fun, awesome stuff happens along the way, a lot of adventure. One amazing thing about this book is it's filled with 80s pop culture. Now, if you're like myself, you grew up in the 80s, you're gonna love this book. It's full of video game pop culture, movies, comics, music pop culture, and just a lot of awesome 80s references that you're really gonna love. Another great thing about this audio version is that it is narrated by Mr. Will Wheaton himself. Wesley Crusher from the Star Trek Next Generation <laughs> himself does an amazing job narrating this book, really brings to life the characters and all that. What's really funny is that he is actually referenced in the book as part of the pop culture. So you get to hear Will Wheaton narrating his own pop culture references in the book. It's really pretty funny. So this book was recently picked up to be made into a motion picture by Steven Spielberg. So you know it's gonna be awesome. What's gonna be really cool is that a lot of the references, the pop culture references in the book are Steven Spielberg's movies. E.T., Back to the Future, Goonies. I mean, all of these are talked about a lot in the book. So it's gonna be interesting to see how he, his adaptation of his own work in the book, in the movie, <laughs> it's gonna be really, really cool. So there you go, guys. That is my first recommendation in our new audio book club series, Ready Player One. Be sure to stay tuned. Next month, we'll come back and we will recommend a new book to listen for the month of May. If you've read Ready Player One or as you read it throughout this month, be sure to come back, leave some comments down below. I'd love to talk to you guys about the book, see what you thought, what you feel about it. I actually met one person that didn't like the book and I'm afraid we're not friends anymore. Yeah. Thank you very much for watching guys. This is Sam with The Blind Spot. Be sure to like and comment and subscribe, do all that stuff. 
Thank you again for watching. We will see you next time.